Hello everyone, this is Hal uh, here in Arden Light and uh, today I would like to show you the story or I would like to tell you and show the story of the, the way we rescue, we save a biriba tree that was being attacked by ants. It's a very, very sad and you know, but with a very happy ending. Then I will, I will proceed then. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm sure you like these little creatures here carrying all these leaves to their nest. These are um, leaf cutter ants. I think that's the name. And we don't like them. I particularly don't like them. They, I think they are nasty creatures and I despise them very much. Yes. Well, but I try not to harm them anyways, as much as I can. And um, the, we have a orchard of fruit uh, on this side of the, of, the, of the finca. And these ants are attacking our fruit trees. We, I don't like that. Absolutely. They have a nice forest behind me. They could go there and get the trees from the forest, but no, they, they want to come to my, to my fruit trees. So I need to do something about it. I bought a product, an organic product, which is, it doesn't harm the ants, while well, it does indirectly. The, the, it's a bait that the ants take as a leaf, they take it to the nest, and that bait kills the fungus that is the food of the ants. And when they, when they bait kill the fungus, they, they, they move away. They move away, they don't have any food there, and then they have to move the nest and probably abandon the, the area where they were working on. Well, that I, I, I used the product last time, and over here on this path, I put, I put the product on the path, but the, the ants were too smart for the product. What they did was just to move that away from their path because it was blocking their way and they just keep on going like nothing. So the product didn't do anything at all. But then today, Gianni or Juan, Juan, uh, which is um, uh, somebody who is helping in the finca and has very brilliant ideas, come with a, an idea how to to avoid this, how to to avoid the ant attack on a fruit tree. So we have here over there, I, I want to show you, that tree over there is a biriba tree. And it, it, has, it has been attacked by the ants for two or three days in a row. And we, I was worried about that tree because when the ants, they are capable to eat, take away all the leaf that you can see there and leave the tree completely naked. Well, that will slow down the growth of the tree. And we need to wait longer for that tree to produce the fruits, which is a very good fruit, Biriba, very sweet and very tasty. It's very also um, demanded. The people like it very much. Then the idea is very simple, cheap, and it doesn't harm the ants. Let, let's get closer to show it to you guys. Here is the tree. Here is the, the trunk of the tree. So the idea, Juan's idea, is that uh, we, with an aluminum foil, we create a bell shape around the trunk and tie it on the top. So when the ant comes up, its path is blocked. But the ant can figure out that through the, through the fall, they can go through the fall, underneath the fall, and then go up to the top of the fall and continue to the, to the top of the tree. They cannot figure that out, and they abandon the tree. What we see here, the ants, is that they, are, they were already on top. Like uh, this one over here, can you see it? I cannot, uh, okay, right there. And the way I do is to tell them to go away. They are not welcome. And then uh, the ants are really cannot go on top. No ant can go on top. That's very nice. Just by using this 
aluminum foil wrap around the trunk of the tree. The other thing, perhaps a, a drawback of this is that the tree is going to grow and the trunk is going to get thicker and probably we need to to redo this bell bell shape aluminum foil around the tree. We could think that maybe we can place elastic a elastic band that can stretch uh, with time. That could be another idea. And then, so the the ants. Let me show you here. Here is what happens underneath. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but the ants cannot really figure out how to go to the top of the tree. So I hope they abandon this tree probably in two or three hours.